Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is going to be a very relaxing, hopefully enjoyable packaging video. Um, I have never done a packaging video where I focus primarily on the sound effects. So I apologize if some of the sound effects gets a little loud. I'll try to do my best in editing. Um, but today's video is just going to be me packaging up some Black Friday orders. Um, I have the first order right over here. And um, I might chat with you guys a little bit, have you guys listen to the sound effects and just kind of watch how I do everything. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started right into the first order. I did actually stay up. Uh, I didn't stay up that late last night. Um, it felt like it because <laughs> I was up pretty early. But uh, I did get about 30 orders packed up yesterday, so that was really good. Um, 25 to 30, I think, around there. So I still have a little bit left to go today. Um, so I'm just going to get started with these ones right here. So this person had ordered um, four wax melts. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is Pacific Coast Highway. And then they also ordered one of the apple vanilla which is a really nice scent and i actually think that i'm going to include that as a um, candle scent as well for next year's fall collection because i actually had somebody special order that as a candle because they liked it so much in a wax melt so um, just kind of trial and learning as i go throughout uh, my business with the different seasons and then they also ordered two of the Christmas cookie scent. Um, so this one and then this one too. So they have a total of four wax melts over here. And of course, Christmas cookie is such a big seller, especially this time of year as we're kind of transitioning over into more of November. So um, I guess I should have done this prior to touching those, but um, I already washed my hands. But I like to just take some hand sanitizer, make sure that you know not spreading any germs or anything <laughs> so i take this kind of paper and this is called honeycomb paper and what you do is you just pull on it and it adds a little bit more volume to it now what i had learned and what i really like to do when packaging up wax melts is I really like to place them this way. So I place them like that and then I fold it over. I love to wrap everything burrito style, I swear. It is just my go-to wrapping method. And then it looks like that. And then I take one of my thank you stickers. So this says, thank you for supporting my small business. And I just make sure it's really stuck because sometimes on this paper because of the openings. Sometimes it doesn't stick as well, but looks good just like that. And then I'm gonna do the next ones. See, I don't know if that's too loud on camera, so I'll have to listen back and see.
those are good to go there. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to grab a poly mailer and we are going to ship these inside of the poly mailer. Okay, I just had to move the camera because it's right in front of my drawers that I use to hold all of my shipping supplies. So I think the camera angle changed a little bit. But you just take one of my poly mailers. So this is a poly mailer and it is essentially just a very stretchy, durable plastic material that allows you to ship items in. And I typically only use this when I'm shipping first class. So I don't use this if I'm shipping, um, typically I don't use this if I'm shipping something that's heavier than a pound. Um, and each of these wax melts weighs three ounces. So I just do the math. So I do three times four, which is 12. And then I usually add on an ounce just for the weight of the packaging and the little extras that I put in here and the sample that I include. So real fast, let me actually just find a sample. So this is my little bin of samples. And I like to just look and see. So this one is Saturday morning cartoons and I don't think, let me see, I'm just checking. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember which scents <laughs> they were before I packaged up. So I usually like to pick the scent before I actually um, pull, uh, package everything up. But I think it was the Apple Vanilla Pacific Coast Highway and Christmas Cookie. So um, Saturday morning cartoons I think would be a good scent to add in there as a sample because it is a sweet scent and we have two sweet scents in here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add that inside. So I just put these right inside. I also put in the little sample. And then right over here, I'm also going to grab, I'm also going to grab a wax melt care card. So these are the wax melt care cards that I sell on my Etsy shop. They're just digital downloads so you can edit it and then print it out at home. Um, but I choose to do this just because I like to have a thank you card and then also a care card on the back and I have it for my candles, my wax melts, as well as my room sprays. So I just, slide that on in there and then I'm able to just fold it over and then I'm going to print out the shipping label separately and put it right on top. And also I apologize that my voice is a little raspy. Um, I actually just woke up not too long ago. So I am a little tired still. I still got a lot of sleep going on in my voice. Um, but so sometimes with some of the pronunciations of things, I know that my voice is kind of cracking or not really pronouncing it right. Um, so I just pulled the next order from the shelf and this person purchased a 10 ounce lemon shortbread candle and this one is a double wick and it smells like a lemon spiced cookie to me so that's why I named it lemon shortbread it's one of my favorites and I loved being able to add that one to this year's winter collection and then this one is called uh, night walk and it's a very it's a very different and unique take on a musky, masculine kind of fall scent. Um, so it's almonds, smoky woods, and musk. And then there, of course, is chai pumpkin. This one is just the six ounce tin. And this one is double wicked as well. And it's just a nice uh, pumpkin spice kind of scent. So cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla. 
So these ones get packaged up very differently. So um, I already determined the box that I'm going to use to ship these with. So I'm going to use an eight by eight by six inch box for these. And um, I'm going to wrap them all up individually before putting them inside there. So with these ones, I'm actually going to wrap them up the same way. So I take again that honeycomb paper lay it flat wrap it like a burrito and then I actually take this kind of sticker so this one right here um, I don't know how much you can see in detail but it is my brand name on the sticker I'm going to put that off to the side because I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. These stickers are so sticky, it's so nice. Okay, so those ones are good to go. And then I'm just gonna grab the gift boxes. So I use these right here. So these are a four by six inch gift box. And I pop it open. And I pop it into place. And now it's a little gift box. And then what I do from here for the inside of the gift box is I put in some packing peanuts so that the bottom of the candle is protected. So I actually prepped myself with a little um, basket of packing peanuts and I did the same thing with my crinkle cut paper. So let me show you guys that actually real fast. So I have this little basket And these are the cornstarch ones. So this is completely made of cornstarch, uh, which means it dissolves in water. So it's biodegradable, and I really like using those ones. And then I also have this basket of the crinkle cut paper. And I purchased the white and the gray separately, and then I just kind of mix it all together. So I use both of those when packaging up my candles. So just put some at the bottom. Put my candle inside.
make sure it's secure. And then I put another sticker of my brand name. I have a smaller box, still the same kind. But it's a little bit smaller, so it fits my 10 candles a lot better. So what I do with this one, Basically just fill it with the crinkle cut. So now these are all ready to be packaged up and put inside the bigger box. So this box is that bigger box. And again, it's the eight by eight by six. So I'm able to place these in here. I'm going to just put some packing peanuts at the bottom, see if I can show you guys. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab the candle. And this one, I don't know if it can fit any other way but on its side. So I'm just going to put it down on its side. It should still be totally fine during transit. And then I'm just going to cover up all the sides.
with packing peanuts. I'm also going to find a sample to put in there. You know, I have so many Saturday morning cartoon samples, and I was wondering if that would be good for this. And I think so because of the lemon shortbread. So in my opinion, if you like Saturday morning cartoons, then you'll like lemon shortbread and vice versa. So I'm actually going to put that as a sample. Put a couple more peanuts. And then put that right on top. So that is how it looks. And then I'm just gonna grab candle care. And put it right on top. And then the last finishing touches that I like to do is just put a little bit of the crinkle cut just for presentation. And one of my other orders that I did last night, I actually put a piece of the honeycomb paper on top. And it actually looked really cute. So I may start experimenting with that. Okay, and then this is probably going to be the last order that I package up for you guys in this video. Um, and this is going to be uh, the 6 ounce 10 of the Evergreen Trail. And this scent is a really nice kind of clean smelling mixture of fruity and pine. So it has the apples, green leaves, and pine. And it's just a really refreshing scent. I really, actually, really enjoy this scent. And then, of course, Christmas cookie, because everybody loves this one. And then we also have California winter. So this one is another pine scent, but unlike the Evergreen Trail, it doesn't have any fruit in it. So it doesn't have the apple in it. So this one is more of an earthy Christmas kind of scent. So you really pick up on the pine, the fir, the bayberry, just it's very um, earthy, very Christmassy. And then we have the holiday dream. And this one um, is also fruity and pine, but it has some spice to it. So this one is orange, clove, and pine. So um, they all kind of have the, the Christmassy notes to it, but of course they all smell. They all have their own unique kind of scent. So this one is definitely a little bit more of that spiced orange with a little bit of pine mixed in. So with this order, um, the way I'm going to package it up is I'm actually going to do a six by six by four inch box because the weight of all of this is going to be a little bit too heavy for a um, poly mailer. So I'm going to actually put it inside of a box and show you guys how I would do that with this kind of order. So I have the box, I actually just already made it because the sound of the box is just, it's, it's awful putting it together. So the sound of the tape and all that, I'm not going to include that in this video because it's just, it's too much. It's way too loud. Um, so let me go ahead and start actually, you know what, I'll start with this one because um, I actually don't like packaging up 6 ounce tens. I don't know why. It just, it, it's just kind of a pain to me. Um, again, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those things. Thank you. 
but the point of packaging up this way is so I protect it because I've had a couple comments in the past before I packaged it up this way that um, the candle arrived with a dent on it and I don't want that. So it's definitely worth it to take the extra steps to make sure that it's protected. Now usually I use actually a smaller size of these, but I already have these pre-cut so I just grabbed them. So I typically like to cut them a little bit smaller because I feel like this is a little bit too large just for the wax melts. So that's all packaged up. So let me grab the box. You guys might be able to see a little bit more because this box is not as tall as the other one. So got that.
not gonna work. So. I just uh, had to lay them on their sides because they were too tall to be able to close the box. So we will lay them on their side. And this is already pretty sturdy in here. So I'm just going to make a little area down here. And then in terms of the sample, let's see, I don't know if Saturday morning cartoons would be good for this one. Let me see. Saturday morning cartoons. I do remember I did make a lot of these. Summertime. Hmm. I don't I don't know if I want to do that one. Pacific Coast Highway. Hmm. You know, they did get a couple of fruity ones. I'm going to toss in summertime. Maybe they'll like the scent. So I'm going to place that right on top right there. And then I'm also going to grab... Candle Care. And put that right on top. Put in a little bit of pat of um, crinkle cut. All right, guys, um, that is going to do it for today's video. I know I didn't package up that many orders, but with me kind of taking my time focusing on the sounds and just a little bit more of a relaxing process. It kind of um, pushes out the time that it takes me to actually package everything up. Um, I still have a little bit to go before I head over to the post office, so I'm probably going to end today's video right here. If you guys liked this kind of style of ASMR and hearing all the sounds, um, let me know. Um, I really enjoy this video. It kind of helped me relax and take a step back and just kind of chill out from the craziness of Black Friday and just, you know, uh, the mindset of, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.